The Digital Cooperation Organization, DCO, has launched the first edition of its data-based report, the Digital Economy Maturity Scale, which enables countries to better explore digital economy maturity paths, find growth opportunities, measure progress, and bridge the digital economy maturity gap. On this occasion, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Mohammed bin Thamar al kabi said that the Kingdom of Bahrain, as a founding member of the DCO, is proud of the vision of launching the Digital Economy Maturity Scale, which aims to advance the global digital economy. The Minister expressed confidence that this tool will contribute to the development of a more inclusive digital economy, enhance digital innovation, stimulate job creation, accelerate GDP growth, and improve economic sustainability and social welfare. He also praised the assessment of the Kingdom of Bahrain, which the report described as advanced in the digital field of work and training as the data indicated that the Kingdom of Bahrain is making efforts to reduce gender gaps in its digital access in addition to enhancing the positive impact of the freelance economy. The launch of the Digital Economy Maturity Scale took place at the Digital Sustainable Development Goals 2024 conference which was held during the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York last month. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the 122nd GCC Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee held in Doha, Qatar, with the participation of Ministers of Finance of the GCC and the GCC Secretary General, Jassim al-Abdawi. A number of topics on the agenda related to enhancing financial and economic cooperation between the GCC countries were reviewed, which included the recommendations submitted by the Committee of Governors of Central Banks, the results of the meetings of the Customs Union Authority, the Committee of Heads and Directors of Tax Administrations, and the Gulf Common Market Committee. The Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee were also briefed on the latest developments related to negotiations of the GCC, free trade agreements with other countries and the economic blocs, and the latest developments regarding the program for achieving economic unity between the GCC countries. The Finance Minister and the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain participated in the joint meeting of the Finance Ministers and Governors of Central Banks in the GCC with the Director General of the International Monetary Fund during which many topics related to regional and global economic developments were reviewed, as well as the efforts made to address the economic challenges facing the financial and economic policies of the GCC countries for the year 2024. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in the joint ministerial session of the Ministers of Finance and Economy of the GCC, organized by the Ministry of Finance in Qatar in cooperation with Georgetown University, within the framework of the finance ministers chairing Bahrain's delegation in the 122nd GCC meeting of the Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee in Doha, Qatar. The finance minister stressed the importance of continuing to work on enhancing Gulf integration in various fields in a way that achieves the visions of their majesties and highnesses, the leaders of the GCC. The minister pointed out that the requirements of the stage require more coordination and cooperation to deal optimally with them and ensure the progress of the development process in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, according to the frameworks drawn for them in a manner that achieves the aspirations and ambitions of their people. The session included a discussion panel on how the GCC countries can benefit from regional cooperation to enhance economic resilience amid global geopolitical transformations and achieve a balance between regional economic priorities and global requirements. The minister emphasized the need for a beneficial environment for trade between the GCC countries, highlighting the role of the private sector in sustainable economic development. He highlighted the potential of the tourism sector as the GCC countries have the capacity to attract tourists from around the world. He emphasized the need for enhanced cooperation and coordination between the GCC countries to improve outputs in line with joint economic integration principles, which would open new economic horizons for the region. The Kingdom of Bahrain is ready to host the 29th edition of Routes World 2024, scheduled for October the 6th to the 8th. The prestigious event will convene a diverse array of decision makers and influencers from the aviation industry at the Exhibition World Bahrain. The Minister of Tourism and Chairperson of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Fatma bin Jafar al sayrafi said that hosting Routes World 2024 affirms the Kingdom of Bahrain's rising prominence in the 
MICE tourism sector and solidifies its status as a leading global hub for aviation. She emphasized that this significant milestone aligns with Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, which prioritizes economic diversification and elevating the tourism sector as a central pillar for national economic growth. She further explained that the successful organization of such pivotal events directly supports the realization of Bahrain's tourism strategy 2022-2026, particularly in delivering the commitments to attracting international exhibitions. The minister also noted the event will not only elevate Bahrain's standing in the global MICE tourism landscape, but also contribute to generating business opportunities and enhancing visitors' experiences, as well as supporting the national economy. The President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, participated in the 28th meeting of Gulf Cooperation Council Culture Ministers meeting held in Doha, Qatar. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed said that the meeting is a key milestone in advancing regional cultural integration, as well as an opportunity to emphasize the importance of cultural diplomacy in promoting the countries, their histories, and their global standing. He added that Bahrain aims to position culture as a driver for sustainable development by leveraging shared heritage and advancing cultural infrastructure. Highlighting these issues at such important forums, he also noted that despite global challenges, GCC countries can use culture as a tool to achieve development and strengthen both local and regional identities. The meeting addressed cultural issues and discussed ways to enhance collaboration between public and private cultural institutions in the GCC, particularly in heritage, antiquities, arts, and cultural innovation. Future cultural development plans were also discussed. The 28th meeting of the GCC culture ministers held in Doha recognized Dr. Dalal Ashrugi and photographer Abdullah Al Khan for their cultural contributions alongside other notable GCC figures. Dr. Ashrugi was honored for her work in heritage studies. She's one of Bahrain's leading researchers in popular culture and traditions, with significant contributions in documenting Bahrain's national heritage. Through numerous books and studies, Abdullah Al Khan was celebrated for his contributions to visual arts, specifically photography. He's renowned for documenting Bahrain's history through photography, covering political, social, cultural, and economic life in the kingdom and the wider Gulf. The first Deputy Speaker of the Shura Council, Mr. Jamal Mohammed Fakhru, met with the participants in the activities of the second Parliamentary Media Forum under the patronage of the Chairman of the Shura Council and the Speaker of the Council of Representatives. The forum was held under the slogan Artificial Intelligence and its role in parliamentary performance, opportunities and challenges. The first Deputy Speaker of the Shura Council, Jamal Mohammed Fakhru, stressed the importance of specialized parliamentary media in providing information analysis and clear and transparent messages with complete objectivity and responsibility to the target audience in a detailed and coherent manner that takes into account first and foremost the achievement of the supreme interest of the country and is based in its transmission on the foundations of legislative practices and competencies which contributes to enhancing positive interaction between the legislative institution and society. Mr. Fakhro explained that the Kingdom of Bahrain possesses the infrastructure and technical and technological capabilities that enable the legislative authority to employ artificial intelligence to enhance and develop the outcomes of parliamentary performance. He also pointed out the importance of enacting legislation and laws that work to confront the challenges of artificial intelligence and setting legal frameworks to ensure the safe use of modern technology. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world in celebrating the International Cyber Security Awareness Month where the National Cybersecurity Center launched its second consecutive campaign under the title Cyber Aware Bahrain at the Avenues Mall with the aim of raising awareness in this field. Cybersecurity in the Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys great support from various parties, as cybersecurity is considered extremely important in the current era. The National Cybersecurity Center, especially in October, is considered the World Cybersecurity Awareness Month, provides great opportunities to raise awareness in this field. The campaign offers individuals and institutions interactive programs to develop and improve their skills, propose solutions and exchange experiences, protecting IT networks and systems and operational technology systems is an important issue on the table in this campaign. 
aimed at enhancing the digital infrastructure that supports cyber readiness in Bahrain.